नमो महापदन्ना गुरवे राधिकाये सदाये कृष्णा कृष्ण भक्ता Jalakar is here, the father of Indra, Jalakar. Or oh, he should pray to Krishna that he should come and make him quiet. I'm trying. Somebody can hear me. I'm trying. Now you should be ready to come with me or come to India with me. <laughs> and we should go where? On the bank of Ganges. Where Triveni is there. From ancient time this place is very secret. Sacred. Very sacred. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was there and Sanatan Goswami came and met him on the bank of Ganges on Dasha Swamid Bhat. They are talking each other and Mahaprabhu is inspiring him. So let us go there. Have a seat there. And then here. You know, that what is the process that a, do, a devotee should go in that process to any high class of any devotee. The process 
which Rup Goswami and Sanatan Goswami adopted. Four, be penniless. First, be Sharnagati. Surrender yourself. Six items there. Six limbs. And be dependent on Krishna. He will support us, nourish us. We have this faith. In any way he cannot give up. So these six limbs of Saranagati should be first there. And penniless. No short, no pocket. And no dhoti. Only up to here. <laughs> and if you have anything, any pocket, any shirt, anything, oh Mahaprabhu will always look for oh, What is this? What is this? What is this? Unless you will give up. Like Sanatana <laughs> Oh, this is the process. First, belief should be on Krishna. If he has created lakhs and lakhs universe and he is supporting, nursing all, even creatures in ocean, on air, on earth, here and there, he will not, he must support animals. Because he has thought, he has promised. He has not only promised, he has told his dearest devotee, Oh, you should promise. If I am doing any promise, it may be wrong. But if my devotee is promising, Oh, I must do. I must promise. So he has. Name Bhakta Pranasati. What is the meaning? Are no me bhakta pranashyati? My devotee will never perish. Nabi, never perish. Never, 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 First, you are going to any pure devotee who is Tattva Darshi, knowing all conclusion, you should go. And three things will be there. Pranipatena, Pariprasnena, Pranipat, like Sanatan Goswami to Mahaprabhu. Pariprasna, oh, he is asking so many questions, 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 but not questions, Pariprasna. Very in humble way. If I am qualified, oh, you can do it. If I am qualified. And then, Pariparsnena Shevaya. Shevaya. What Seva? What Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ordered he, him oh, to establish temple, to, to publish so many books and Vedic culture. Oh, all this Hari Bhakti Blasi did. Oh, Tigan Srimad Bhagavatam. Commentary to Srimad Bhagavatam. Commented so many things. Brihad Bhagavatam, best book. So he fulfilled the desire of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Now Sanatana Goswami is so humble. Not like Oh, like a friend, you went to your, any pure devotee and took a chair and sitting. Oh, Gurudev, can you tell me? No, challenging more. Tabe Sanatan Prabhu de Charna Dharya Dane Binati Kare Dante Dante Tirina Dharya. Have you? Chaitanya Chaitamri? By Swamiji, 
Kavisanathan Prabhu Sanatan to Sami took some straw straw in his mouth. Why? I'm more wretched than this. Oh no. I will follow your order. So this is the tendency of anyone who is going to any high class of the world. You can remember your Gurudev. You can remember. I can remember more than you. I have seen his humbleness to devotees, to Sri Pasiddhar Maharaj, to my Gurudev, to Saran Bhakti Saran Goswami Maharaj. So many I have seen in their council how humble he was. You cannot imagine him, but I have seen his humbleness. Oh, giving them so much honor, like a straw taking something, and he used to see and to hear. Very humble. That is why he became so successful. successful. He is telling Nichi Jati, Nichi Sangi, Pati Tadham, Krishim Kubishaya Kupe Padi Kamai Nichi. What? Oh, see, sir. One should be given. Sanatan Goswami said, I was born in a low family. I have a microphone, that's his dad. I was born in a low family, and my associates are all low-class men. I myself am fallen, and am the lowest of men. Indeed, I have passed my whole life fallen in the well of sinful materialism. Who is that? Who is Our spiritual master. Shilaprabhupada, I was born. Swami said, I was born in a low family, and my associates are all low class men. I myself am fallen, and am the lowest of men. Indeed, I have passed my whole life fallen in the well of sinful materialism. Oh, Sanatan Goswami was very high class of Brahmin family. Very high class of. Very learned. From previous, was very pure. And offered to... Krishna surrendered. But even how he humbly is telling, I am of low class. Why? Can you tell these, these words to any your Shiksha Guru, Diksha Guru? Then? Oh, is here. But your telling and behavior should be one. I think you cannot. Very humble, more than anyone. He is realizing himself and telling. Oh, you know Srimati Radhika. What she is telling? Oh, I am more than a straw, dry straw. I have no love and affection for Krishna. Even a little draw. I want to take a but in the family of Pulindi, very low class. I want to be uh, clouds. I want to be river, Yamuna. I want to have be a deer, cow calf. What they have love and affection for Krishna? I have not. So she is telling lie. Sanatan Goswami is telling lie. We cannot understand. 
He's telling all right. From his side. But the reality is not like so. So we should try to follow. And if you are not following, oh, you are what? Cheated. You are cheating yourself. But how you can think? If you are not attending the association of high class of Krishna, all oh, these are the etiquette, this is the process by which we can go to any height. You went to your Prabhupada, but this, you have no, you have not fortunate so much. You have not heard from any Siksha Guru that who was he. And that is why for so many problems. So be like this. Apna hitai kichu na jani, grammy bevahare pandit, I suck the very money. Kripapari jadi more kolia chota, apna kripati kahok of the piano. What is it? Always. Always. Don't bring me. Srila Sanatana Goswami is continuing. I do not know what is beneficial for me and what is detrimental. Nonetheless, in ordinary dealings, people consider me a learned scholar, and I am also thinking of myself as such. Out of your causeless mercy, you have delivered me from the materialistic path. Now, by the same causeless mercy, please tell me what my duty is. Kriyami, kene amaye jare tapatra, liya nahi jani kem nahi tahar. Who am I? Why do the threefold miseries always give me trouble? If I do not know this, how can I be benefited? Actually, I do not know how to inquire about the goal of life and the process for obtaining it. Be merciful to me and please explain all these truths. Who are you? Yourself? Who are you? What name? Father's name? I am going to tell you. I am simply asking you, who are you? Any name? Mr. Dundadas. you can make Uddhara of whole world. 
You can help them to be pure Krishna conscious. But even you are asking for others, I know. And he told so many slogans. Oh, you are a very qualified person. I'm telling you, who are you? And then he told, Ye Vaira Krishna Das. Perhaps I know that all of you, those who are senior, of Siddha Bhakti Vedanta Swami, they know these two lines. Jivere Swarupa hai, then Krishna, you should try to remember. These words are transcendental. They can may help you also. Oh, coming from the mouth of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. These are more than Vedas. More than Vedas. You are a Sarukhai Nitya Krishna Das. Oh, all these live. All the living entities. Where here, there. All are Nitya Das, eternal Harbhanda. Even the Baladev Prabhu, Nanda, Yasunda, Garga, Chaitya, Prandilya, all, all are servant of Krishna, anyhow serving Krishna. And then, Krishna Tartastha Shakti, Veda Vedit, what he has translated. It is the living entity's constitutional. Try to hear, not talking. It is the living entity's constitutional position to be an eternal servant of Krishna because he is the marginal energy of Krishna and a manifestation simultaneously one and different from the Lord, like a molecular particle of sunshine or fire. Krishna has three varieties of energy. Just as and he... What he told? Oh, can you tell what he told? You can, can you repeat what in translation he told? Why you are keeping this in there? <laughs> Can you? The living entity is the marginal energy of the Lord, and he's the eternal servant Lord, simultaneously one way and yet different from the Lord, as the molecular part of the sun, the fire of the sun. Any example? Like a particle of sunlight or a fire? Then Krishna Bholi Sri Jiu Anati Bahi Mo, oh, 117. Pataya Matare De Sansara De Dukkha. Forgetting Krishna, the living entity has been attracted by the external feature from time immemorial. Therefore, the illusory energy Maya gives him all kinds of misery in his material existence. Again, I went to be. Forgetting Krishna, the living entity has been attracted by the external feature from time immemorial. Therefore, the illusory energy Maya gives him all kinds of miseries in material existence. Oh, you should know. The 
all the languages of the universe are not friendship. But Krishna and Jivas and his what manifestations all are transcendent. Any worldly language cannot speak thoroughly about transcendental things. Sometimes malish, malish of language will come and you cannot define soul. There must be some something like it, effective. If Krishna is forgetting, what word he has written? Forgotten. Forgotten. Then forgotten means what is the meaning? Oh, he knew, but he forgot. Forgotten. At first, in originally he was knowing him. Anyhow, any reason, a special reason, he forgot. This meaning will come, but this is defective. Also, we will see and judge that if Guru is telling something and he has told something before and now he is telling quite opposite and it may be some contradictory contradictory thing. But if Guru is bona fide, anything not wrong. We have to reconcile about this. We will have to reconcile. How? By the words of previous Acharya in his line. Whom he has accepted. Like Sanatana Goswami, Rup Goswami, Jeev Goswami, Krishna Das Kapiraj Goswami, like Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Narottam Thakur, Kaviraj Goswami, Vishwana Chakrati Thakur, Pahab Baladev Vidya Bhushan, in Tattva. We will see that he is telling in his line or not. And what they are telling, but he is telling some contradictory, this and that both, then we should decide by the words of Previous. those he has accepted. And Shaf and Krishna has told. We should try to get like that. And then we will have to reconcile. We know that very qualified and a realized soul cannot tell anything wrong, which is not true. But we will have to be consulted. Here he told, but he here he has not clarified who Krishna Das Kabiraj Goswami or Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is telling, but not so much clear. Again, come here. Oh, 102. 122. The conditioned soul cannot revive his Krishna consciousness by his own efforts. But out of his causeless mercy, Lord Krishna compiled the Vedic literature and its supplement, the Puranas. Why he told this? Why? that Ved and Quran, he is telling to Ved Quran according, or giving these some some examples and some praman, evidence. evidence from Quran, then he is okay, all right. But if he is not, the Ved and Quran not following his all words, then there should be something like it. So, we should see in Vedas and Prams, but we are not qualified to see that. Here is the matter. But if you are senior, sincere, oh, by hearing 
the high class of association. Uh, you can think about this. Hmm? Here also not clear or come again. <coughs> but we will have to uh, reconcile. reconcile by Shastra and Guru Parampara. Sorry. What my Guru Dev is telling. Sorry, he cannot tell anything beyond their line. Never. Because he has accepted that line and accepted Ved, Quran, Upanishad, Bhagavatam, Gita. So he must go and there is something wrong with us. Yes, also. So we should try to get with high class of Vaishnav. Those who are in this line equal to Gurudev. Even not equal, but in their line. Then come here. Twenty-two, ten, thirteen. Twenty-two. Twenty-two chapter. Twenty-two chapter, Madhya, <coughs> ten to thirteen. Same thing. I am telling all these things to clear this subject. Advaya Gyan Krishna Tattva Swayam Bhagavan Sarup Shakti Rupe Hayatar Anasthan Swans Vibhinans Rupe Hayya Vistar Ananta Vaikunt Brahmande Karana Viha Swans Vistar Chatur Viha Avatar Gan Vibhinans Jeevatar Shakti Teva You should read the translation. 7 to 9 Krishna is the non-dual absolute truth. Oh, it is clear. Krishna is non-dual absolute truth. What is the meaning? What is that? What is that? Oh, yes, you should understand. Uh, Krishna is advaita. Can you define clearly? Actually, you should try. Very attentively. Attentively, you should hear very deep. hard subject. Deep. Difficult. Deep. Eh? Deep. 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 Oh, deep. Very great. Deep subject. Advai Gyan. Have you heard this word? Advai Gyan? Yeah, yeah. Oh, but try to know. Srimad Bhagavatam is stated Vadanti Tat Tat Bhavidas Tatvam Yad Gyanam Advayam. Nameti, Paramatmeti, Bhagavan Kriti Shabjate. The absolute truth, it is Advaya Gyan Paratattva. It is the supreme truth and it is Advaya Gyan. Advaya means non-dual. There is no duality in that absolute truth. Yet, it what is... It, what is the meaning? Advaya means non-dual in English. One hmm. without a second. Hmm. This... Absolute truth is perceived in three features, Brahman, Paramatma, and Bhagavan. I am not going to that point. Yes, I am coming to Bhagavan. Mm. I want to come in Advaya What is Advaya Gyan? So, our Acharyas have explained that Bhagavan, being the Supreme Personality of Godhead and Absolute Truth, there is no duality in Him. Duality or Dwaya. Duality does not exist in him, therefore he is called Advaya Gyan Paratattva. Dwaya or duality can be divided into three categories. Swagat Bhed, Vijatiya Bhed and Sajatiya Bhed. So we'll explain these one by one. First of all, Swagat Bhed. This means there is no duality in relationship in regard to his own transcendental form. For example, Krishna, he has a transcendental form. One may argue there is duality in this form. Why? Because he has a head and his, his head is different from his feet. His feet are different from his hands. His hands are different from his legs. 
His do I... nose is different from his ears. His ears are different from his eyes. But no, this is not the case. In Brahma Samhita, it is described that all the senses of the Supreme Lord can perform all the functions of all the other senses. So therefore, he can what he can perform with his eyes, the same function he can perform with ears, what he can perform with his hands, he can perform with his feet, his sense of touch can smell, his sense of smell can hear, his hearing can see. In this way, even though it appears to be duality there, there is no duality at all. He is absolute. So there is no hate, no difference in regard to his own transcendental form. This is called Swagat Bhaid. Then, Sajatiya Bhaid. Sajatiya Bhaid means Sajatiya. That which is in the same category as him is also non-different from him. For example, Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But the Supreme Personality of Godhead has many forms. Karma, Matsya, Varaha, Ram, Kalki, Narsinga. Many different forms. And there appears to be duality between them. But from the platform of Tattva Siddhanta, philosophical principles, they are all one Tattva that is called Vishnu Tattva. Advaita Machuta Manadi Mananta Rupam. Adyam Purana Purusham Navayovanamcha. Though he has unlimited forms, these forms are Advaita. They are non different from each other. Or they are called Tattva. Vishnu Tattva. They are called Swansha Tattva. Swansha. His own manifestation. manifestation. They are not uh, different from this. Not independent they are to do anything. They are himself Krishna. So they are called Swansa. And Bibhinans of much difference. So Ram, Nishingha, Kalki, Baman, all are Swansa. But it seems or oh, they are different. <coughs> what is this? This is called Vaishishtya, a speciality of Krishna. Hmm? Though they are seen in different <coughs> faces and bodies, but all independent or they are all existing in Krishna. Dependent upon Krishna. Yes. So something. So these are called trans. Okay. So first type of bait. <coughs> So all the gopis, go, Nanda Baba, Jasoda, Baladev Prabhu in there, and here in Baikuntha Lok, so many associates. associates. Or here so many forests, jungles, we are all. What is this? What is this? There are so many things. But anything, anyone is not dependent. Independent. 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 All are dependent to Krishna. So these are by sister. Not anything else. So there is no bhed at all. No difference at all. If anyone quite independent with on Krishna, no depend, dependency on Krishna, then he may be any anyone. Even Kansa, Jarasandha, anyone is not dependent. So all are including in Krishna and that is called Advaita. More? So, first type of bait, Swagat bait. There's no difference in Krishna's own body. Angani, Yasya, Sakalendriya, Vritti, Manti. All senses can perform all functions of senses. Second type of bait. In the same category as Krishna, his own swansa, his own expansions. They are all one tattva, Vishnu tattva. So there's no difference here. Now the third type of bait. This is called Vijatiya Bhaid. Is there any difference between Krishna and those things which are it, which are Vijatiya? They are of a different category than Krishna, such as the Jivas, they are Bibinang Tattva, they are his separated parts and parcels. And also Maya, the material energy, is not in the same category as Krishna. Is there any difference between them? No. Srila Jiva Goswami Pai in his Sandhavas is written. That the absolute truth is one, but he's manifest in four manifestations, which are inconceivably all taken together to be Advaya Gyan Paratattva. We can understand this by a simple example. The sun, the internal feature of the sun, 
the, this is the first aspect. Then the globe of the sun, the mandal, uh, Surya mandal. Then the rays coming out from the sun, and then the remotely situated reflection of the sun. These are four features. But these four features all depend upon the sun, and they cannot be separated from each other. In the same way, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, He is like the internal aspect of the sun. His Vaikuntha planets and expansions, they consider to be like the sun disk itself, Surimandal. And the jivas are like the rays emanating from the sun. And Maya is like the remotely situated reflection of the sun. All taken together, this is Advaya Gyan Paratattva. There cannot be any difference in them. Thank you. Now, come to this point. Bibhinans Ji Shakti Te Ganan. They are not persons, personified. Eh? What he has translated Shakti Te Ganan? Ninth? Ninth, ninth. Expansions of his personal self, like the quadruple manifestation of Sankarsana, Pradyumna, Anit. No, 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 no. Vibhinans Jivta Shakti Te Ganan. Ninth. After that. The living entities, jivas, are divided into two categories. Hmm. Some are eternally liberated. No, no. Up. One line up above. Vibhinans jiv tar shakti te gana. Nine second line. Or jivar shakti. The separated expansions are living entities. Although they are expansions of Krishna, they are counted among the different potencies. Yes, they are a potency. You should know. But here we see, oh, men, omen, so many things. But all are manifestation of. They are parinam of tatastha shakti. Or transformation of marginal potency. But you should know this margin, marginal potency, oh, not in Golok Vrindavan. Or oh, there is oh, his a special rule. Rule. Original form. Original, original form. Yog Mayadi. Sarup Shakti. And from them all are manifested. manifested. <coughs> This Vibhinans Ji, Vibhinans Pene? Separated. Separated. Partitional. Oh. There are two, uh, two kinds. One, Nitya Mukta. Nitya Mukta means? Eternally liberated. They have never been in Maya. Never, never. Eternal associate. Serving Krishna. In so many forms. They have never seen Maya. What is called Maya? Never. And <coughs> one Nitya Sanshar. Nitya Sanshar means? Eternally bound. Eternally bound. Eternally. They have never seen oh, Golok Vrindavan. They have never seen Krishna. They have never gone there. Nitya Sanshar. From, from their constitutional position. They have never seen Krishna. So there is no question that they have forgotten, huh? forgotten or they have come from there. No question. <coughs> then Nitya Mukta Nitya Charane Krishna Charane Unmukha. What is telling? And Krishna Parishadanam Bhunje Shivas. You should translate. Apart from the ever-liberated devotees, there are the conditioned souls who always... Hmm? Why not from above? Those life? who are eternally liberated are always awake to Krishna consciousness and they render transcendental loving service at the feet of Lord Krishna. 
They are to be considered eternal associates of Krishna and they are eternally enjoying the transcendental bliss of serving Krishna. And Nitya Baddha, Krishna is ten Nitya Bahirmuk, Nitya Sansare, Bhunje, Narakadi Duk. Apart from the ever liberated devotees, huh? apart huh. from the ever liberated devotees, there are the conditioned souls who always turn away. From what is the meaning of this? You should try to think of it very deeply. Nitya Sansar. What is the meaning? Eternally. They have never, never been there. Never. never been He's telling. Bhunje Narakadi Dukha. Oh, they are going to or 20, uh, 14, 14, 14 locks here and there. Cyclic order. In cyclic order. From beginning. From beginning they are going. No constitutional growth is there. No. Only something is there. Potential. Potentially. Mm -hmm. Go on, more. Say the Samaya Pisaki Tare Dandakari. Due to being opposed to Krishna consciousness, the conditioned soul is punished by the witch of the external energy, Maya. He is thus ready to suffer the threefold misery. Miseries brought about by the body and mind, the inimical behavior of other living beings, and natural disturbances caused by the demigods. No. Jajara Dharamana Haribo. Jajara Dharamana Haribo. 